Kaiju number 8 is an anime that recently finished its first season. I really liked it, so I wanted to play Elden Ring with a build based off of Kafka Bino or Kaiju number 8. So without further ado, make sure to like, subscribe, and let's get right into it. I'm starting this playthrough in New Game Plus because it requires a lot of things from the DLC. I'm also like max level, so the game would be way too easy if I wasn't in New Game Plus like 5. The first thing you do in any Elden Ring playthrough is go down from the Chapel of Anticipation and fight a grafted scion. Every weapon and attack I have is at least loosely based off of what Kafka Hibino uses in Kaiju No. 8. After beating the Grafted Scion, I got myself killed falling off a cliff and skipped the tutorial because who cares about that. I don't like White Mask Vare because he's rude and he calls me Maidenless, so I killed him. I had absolutely no issues taking down the Tree Sentinel at max level. I already knew exactly where to go, so after talking to Melina, I went and fought Margit. I'd say Margit has probably the most predictable moves in the entire game. Even as Morgoth, I have pretty much no issue beating him ever. Before going into Stormville Castle, I wanted to kill this stupid dragon because he's annoying. After heading back to Stormville Castle, I attacked and killed this guy, who's annoying, and a thief. I sped through the entire castle because I couldn't be bothered and fought Godric who is probably the easiest boss in the entire game, but he's fun. When I went to the academy in Liernia, this rock decided it didn't want me standing on it. I needed the key behind this dragon to get into the academy, but he looked at me weird, so I had to kill him. Before I went into the academy, I wanted to get these cool dragon eyes from the dragon communion altar. Okay, these dogs at the academy will chase you to the ends of the earth. Oh my god, they're so annoying. I had planned to use no summons for most of the bosses, but I accidentally used my Mimic in the Red Wolf fight.
After avoiding some balls and killing a dumb knight, it was time to fight Renala. This fight is so annoying because she just spams spells and summons. I hate bosses that do that. My next step was to go get some medallions so I could get to Lindell. You see that guy over there? That's Margit, or Morgot, but he's boring and stupid, so you could just run by him. Now you can't run by this Draconic Tree Sentinel, so I tag teamed him like you would in Jujutsu Kaisen. I had completely forgotten about Radon though, and I really like his fight, so I wanted to go back and do that. Back in Lindell, I refused to admire the view. Hello, Bubble Boys. For Godfrey, I did end up using a summon because it's my second least favorite fight in the entire game. Before I fought Morgoth, there was a certain item I wanted from Patches. Now that we're on to the more god fight, I wanted to explain a little bit about why I hadn't been using any of the incantations you see. I had actually completely forgotten they existed, that's just, I'm an idiot. Um, there's a couple I wanted to use to make it seem like I was more like kaiju number 8, but I just ended up not using them because it was kind of a hassle to switch out of the double handed. I wouldn't say I particularly like fighting Morgot, he's kind of boring, but I mean, it's whatever, he's easy.
Okay, cool. That was scary. So I guess you can only use the shackle once. <clears throat> Morgoth's great rune gives you more health, so I went and mended it. In the mountaintop of the giants, I fought Vike, who is really cool in the lore, but sucks to fight. You just have to jump attack it, pretty much. Now we're on to the fight I was most excited for for this playthrough, because it's like I'm fighting an actual kaiju. I hate fighting the fire giant though, I feel so bad for him. You have to break his ankles to kill him, it's so stupid. Hairy man with an eyeball on his chest is dead, so it's time to let Melina set herself on fire. I speed ran through crumbling Faramazula because I don't like it and every creature is annoying. You know what's the most annoying about this place though? The Godskin Duo, who are both some of the most annoying bosses to fight in the entire game, so I just let my summons deal with them mostly. Big ups to my main man, Bernaldo. He's a, he's a G. He's a real one. Like I said before, I hate crumbling fair Missoula, so I speed ran straight to the beast clergyman, or Malekith. Stop jumping! Stop jumping!
We've been doing a lot of fighting, so I wanted to take a break and talk to Muriel. He's definitely Daikaiju class, right? That's enough of Muriel though, and that's also enough of Mr. Know-It-All over here. You heard me say before that I hate the Godfrey fight. I also hate this version of the Godfrey fight, so I had to use my summon. I don't care. F you. I just, I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, no, get out of here. I don't care. As long as I'm still doing this, it's fine. I don't care if my Mimic has armor on. Now the final boss was really difficult. You gotta remember, even though I max level, this is New Game Plus, I think it was four or five. So I had to summon in some help. Well, I didn't have to, but I thought it'd be funny to use the power of friendship to beat the final boss. This fight also felt like I was fighting a kaiju, which was pretty cool. Where are you at, huh? What you want? You want something from us? I think I got the final hit. W. So we're gonna go ahead and end the video here while we're playing this cutscene. If you wanna know my build I used for this, it's in the description below. And if you guys enjoyed, please make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.